All right, we're back on the trail. Jeff from Cadillac Cab came through. Um, I drove my van up to Kramer Road, which is down a dirt road. And I get a little weary about leaving it unattended for four to five days, but it'll be just fine. And uh, yeah, just getting started north of Tedaguch now. So I did Gooseberry to Tedaguch, and now it's Tedaguch to Temperance. Booyah. He goes lapping it up. Yum, 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 yum. Slow is steady. Steady is fast. I don't remember who said that, but I do remember reading it in the book Born to Run by Christopher McDougall. I uh, haven't been trail running much in years. Occasionally getting out just for my fitness. But something about putting your home on your back and finding a steadiness in that. There's nothing more rewarding than knowing that you can do something like this. Ah, here goes my baby bear. I decided his full name is Ego Puppy Bear Pokemon Stallion, and then my last name, Tortson. Ego! Just another lovely vista after climbing another famous Superior Hiking Trail uh, summit, ascent. Oh, and then the descent again. Well, I think it's inevitable. We go down, we'll go back up again. Wow. I have to check the map again. I don't remember what like this is. It's breathtaking. First break of the day might not, might not, blah, 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 catching my breath. Might as well be an overlook with some breeze. This is Wolf Lake, and looking at the map, just on the other side of this ridge is Wolf Ridge Environmental Center, Environmental Learning Center. I went there in fourth grade. How many years ago that was. Ah, so cool. Yep. Never really get tired of these views. Just back and forth into the woods and out to the vistas and catch that nice lakefront breeze. Feels so nice. Ah. All these young little baby maple trees. It's beautiful. And I guess uh, their parents. It's a very different forest than everything I've seen so far. I know it changes so much <clears throat> from valley to valley and vista to vista. And one of the reasons I love this this trail. Just another epic vista on Zipi Superior Hiking Trail. The overcast is helpful, the breeze is really nice. Morale is still at a 10. We just crossed. County Road 6, and I believe we'll cross it again, but uh, another mile and a half or so until we get to camp for the night at uh, Section 13, another area that I went climbing at. It's a pretty big commitment to carry your climbing gear in that far. Not many climbers are that committed, but those that are, are very passionate. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, so nine miles today. Oh, come on, puppy, come on. I like to give him time to smell, but not too much time. Um, sometimes it's necessary for us to take breaks, of course. Every time we get to the top of a climb, I share some water with him. And every time we uh, get to a stream or creek, river or lake, I encourage him to drink. And his morale is pretty high too. So, win-win. Hey, bud. Oh, the bugs are bad here. We worked pretty hard for this. Oh. We're at the overlook. This isn't technically section 13 yet. There's a loop for that. But camp is just a few minutes away. And Papa's ready for a break. I think he is too. Happy dog makes me a happy guy. rolling keeps the bugs away. Hallelujah. Look at that. Majesty. What a good look. It's about 6.30 a.m. We broke camp already. Uh, section 13 was a nice overlook, but there was no water up there. Most of these campsites are designed to have water nearby so that you can pump. <clears throat> And it also ended up being really busy with a, a little family and a group of Outward Bound uh, kiddos and guides. Um, so, needless to say, it made sense to break camp before they all got up because uh, sharing cooking space and, you know, the social dynamic, everybody's on their own page and... I'm one of those early to bed, early to rise, so I like that we're on the trail already. And I think we're going to stop and uh, fill up our water here. A little murky on the bog this morning, but the sun rays are starting to shine through. It's going to be another beautiful day. Small chance for rain tomorrow. And I guess I'll take it. <sighs> Man, look at those sun rays coming through, drying this mud out. Catch this on camera, shall we? Is it gonna go under when we step on it? Keep walking, bud. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Board crossings. You know, thanks to the volunteers that come in and do this kind of work, you know. Without you, this trail would not be possible. Oh my goodness. I was camped up there somewhere last night. Oh, about two hours or so in now. Two and a half. The terrain is a lot easier today from section 13 heading to Eggy Lake. And I think we'll be there fairly soon. Um, however, there's been lots of sections of really intense mud and pretty much just relentless bugs. Ego is, uh, Ego would agree with me. <laughs> I, I don't, I won't go into details about his, uh, his happenings with bugs maybe later, but yeah, I think we're gonna set up tent for an early lunch break here at Iggy Lake. We're making really good time. Oh, it's just so much easier to keep moving on the trail. 
you know, take it all in when you're moving and then when you get to the scenic spots, soak it up, but then retreat to the tent, to the bug-free zone. And it's still beautiful. You still get to enjoy it from the tent. Oh, I can't wait to get in the tent and scratch everything. Oh, nothing like the sound of fresh running water after being in a bog for the last five or six miles. Woo. Yes. Coming down to a lake campsite where we have earned a nice break and a little cold plunge. Oh, and a break from the bugs. Fuck. Well, we're doing things a little differently today, huh, bud? Uh, some early lunch break. I decided to set up the tent to get a free bug-free zone. But I already took a quick plunge in Eggy Lake, and Ego just pranced on the shoreline. He's still... I don't know what I gotta do to get him swimming. Lunchtime, nap time break. Nine miles in, six miles to go. Ish. Six ish. Do, 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 this is what we're looking for. Ah, another refreshing lake to check out. How cool is this? There's a campsite on this little teeny island. Come on, bud. You know, we, we could stay here, but it's only noon. And I have to get another three or four miles. But we gotta check this out. We're gonna take a break here. We will definitely be back to camp here. Come on, bud, let's go check it out. Maybe there's not a campsite. Rolling up to East Branch of the Baptism River campsite. Oh, another 14 miler and it's only 1.30. But it's important that we don't overdo it. Oh. Yay, camp home! Mosquitoes are so bad that Ego can barely walk like 10 feet without to just like roll and scratch. Yeah, yeah, he's going nuts. I know it's not raining too hard, but it's raining just enough and I guess the bugs seem to be even worse. Come on, Breeze. Oh, a little bit of discomfort teaches you a lot about yourself. So very grateful. However today unfolds, despite any discomfort, we'll be character builder. It'll be good. Good for us. Where are you going, bud? Well, what do you think, Ego? <clears throat> are you happy to be off the trail and out of the rain and out of the vicious, vicious mosquitoes? Yeah, today was brutal, and uh, we had intended on doing a 14 mile day on trail and going through George Crosby Manitou State Park and then camping one more night and then getting to the van tomorrow. But, uh, you know, maybe if we would have hunkered down for a day and just waited out this rain, um, things would have been just fine. Yeah, he's so tired. I'm glad that we decided to do a little road walk, got off the trail, and I tried to get a hold of the service, the shuttle service. Both um, shuttle services were not available. I'm glad I had cell phone service. Um, but got a ride from a guy going fishing that was coming up from Minneapolis, ironically. And him and his dog Nash was a yellow lab, so Ego was very excited to see a buddy. Even though they didn't really get to play, they just got to sniff each other for a 
for a 20 minute car ride, which would have been, you know, 23 miles on trail. Um, different road, different path, of course, but uh, anyway, I'm happy that I made the call for him because I can wear bug spray, but he can't. I can wear bug spray, but he can't. I don't, you know, he's treated for ticks and all that. You know, we've been seeing ticks a couple a day, which isn't so bad. I saw one deer tick and a couple, couple wood ticks every day. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna reconvene in Grand Marais. And we're meeting some buddies up here on the 16th. So we still got like all week. And it's such a good problem to have. But uh, I'm gonna go to a laundromat. Definitely feeling pretty weathered. You know, much respect to those through hikers and the through hiking spirit and mentality. I like to believe I got it in me, but I am still just not there. It's just not where I'm at, at the edge, edge, edge of my comfort. And I'm playing it pretty safe. I'm uh, so grateful, counting my blessings. I did send a prayer and asked the good Lord for a good Samaritan that is kind and, you know, willing to give a ride. And that's, it, that's what we got. It was a really nice little chat and uh, I offered to give him money and he politely refused. Um, just counting our blessings day by day, counting our blessings, living the trail life. Very happy for my little mobile home on wheels, although I would like to upgrade someday. Well, first rainfall after this seam sealer that I put on before I started this trip. <clears throat> it didn't rain heavy, it didn't seem to get me wet. But is it supposed to look like that when it gets wet? I don't know. Laundromat time. Ego's chewing on a bone. Oh, this is life on the road. In this epic trail. A little taste of Grand Marais. You know, a week on the trail. Considering I was planning on spending a month on the trail. I know I'll be going out more, but I'm I'm glad I let go of the through hike. I'm just not that ambitious. Um, I am proud of myself for the, the miles that I did do. And also proud of this little dude. He's so hungry to play with other dogs. So that's the aim today. Might go to a dog park here in Grand Marais. We found ourselves a nice little baseball park, completely fenced in, nobody here. There's a garden right next door, which is beautiful. I'll try to record that here shortly. Yeah. He just needs some buddies. Oh, he's barking. <laughs> Seconds too late. That smile. Ego, ego. He just does not listen. He does, but he only half listens. Ego, can you sit? Okay, I'll listen, but I'm only half listening. Uh oh, he's over it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> My name is Ego. I'm a black lad, but I don't really care for swimming. My favorite game is tug of war, so I think I'm more of a Rottweiler than anything. But one thing is for sure, <laughs> is that he's 100% stallion. My little stallion. He just wants to go say hi to the neighbors. Isn't this a cute little garden? Super simple. I'm going to guess these are all rented by the plot, just like the community garden that I was a part of last year. 
Oh, the Grand Marais life. It's like 50 degrees here and lakefront breezy. Eagle likes it. Fairly quiet spot here, lakefront. Just had my feet in the water for a little while. But I'm um, figuring out um, what to do tomorrow. And I'm looking at Pincushion, which is right out of Grand Marais. Um, but I'm thinking a lot about trying to piece together this section south of Gooseberry, since I did Gooseberry up to um, George Crosby. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a day in George Crosby, which I've never been to. And it's the only state park up here that is backpacking only, which is pretty neat. So I should go tour that and check out the sites that they have there, as well as the Superior Hiking Trail. And then, uh, yeah, timeline, um, kind of uncertain, but it's a... It's a good problem to have, don't you think, bud? Yeah? Is it almost dinner time? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Grandma Ray Radio. Look at this dirt. Yeah, our leg over in Grandma Ray is going pretty good. He's extra happy because I just played with him and ran around a, a baseball field. No doggy buddies quite yet. Maybe we'll see some on our walk here soon.